Good morning guys, it is November 25th. I was about to look at my phone, but I know the date. And today I'm not gonna show you my face just yet, just because I just woke up, but I made this little stamp. So I've been really loving stamp arts lately. Like if I did the transparent background, this is what it's gonna look like. And 
I was thinking I was gonna make this into like a little die cut sticker. It's gonna be matte. It's not gonna be vinyl, but I will be throwing this in as a freebie for the Black Friday sale. I don't know how big I'm gonna make this. But it's just going to be a little freebie for you guys. I'm also going to put this on the envelope that I will do the packaging with. And just stick that on. And it's going to be like a little collectible because I'm always going to make these stamps now. I don't know if it's going to be like a freebie or something for sale. But I'm always going to make them now with like the art that is my favorite that I make. But I really love this and it just has my little character there, Mia. And I love how it looks like. I also am gonna make this as a die cut so I'm gonna do a print cut on this one and it's just a bow like a I think this is from Sailor Moon but I changed the art a little bit and just kind of made it my own but the idea is for Sailor Moon because I just love magical girls and that's what Sailor Moon is if you're not familiar they're magical girls and there's also if you watch anime, there's also Ray Earth, which is those are magical girls as well. And in Cardcaptor Sakura, she's also a magical girl. There's a lot of magical girls, and that's definitely one of my favorite like things about anime and stuff. Just magical girls in general. So I'm making this into a die cut sticker. It's probably going to be like a 2 inch die cut sticker. It's going to be on my other shop, not my budgeting shop, but... I have linked them both down below so I don't know when I'll be having this up. I just kind of put stuff up there whenever I would, I'm done with the art and done like making product photos. But I will include this and yeah that's pretty much it. So I just cut these out myself and I'm actually not happy of the art not because of the color payoff or anything but just because I think sorry it's not focusing right but I think but I think the circle needs to be bigger is what my issue is with this one like the middle needs to be bigger because it looks so small you lose the art in the middle which is you know not very special but i'll try to adjust it and make it like obnoxiously big the circle in the middle including the stars and the other art with it so i really really like the color and everything and i did print it in glossy paper so i don't know i'm gonna try to make it bigger okay guys so i fixed it it looks great and i'm just gonna name this 2.0 hopefully when i print this out I will like it so I think that's just a lesson for anyone that you know make stickers like me don't send it off to a manufacturer yet just try to print it out yourself I think that's why people do test printing and cutting just to kind of see how they like it I know catnip does that and I know a couple other artists does that before they send it to a manufacturer fortunately I do not have a fin manufacturer to do my die cuts i was gonna do them myself and before i made a lot i was trying out different stuff but this one perfect i love it Hey 
guys, so this are the die cuts that I made. So this is the ribbon one. And then this one is the crest. And I have it in both matte and glossy. So this will be the matte one. And these ones were the smaller crest ones. Hey guys, it's November 28th and it's past Black Friday and Thanksgiving. So I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving with their family. And if you worked, I hope you were able to at least get a little bit of Thanksgiving in your day because I know I did. I worked that morning and then I was able to spend the afternoon with my baby and my husband. So it was pretty good. We didn't cook turkey because we usually don't celebrate um, Thanksgiving. We don't have Thanksgiving in the Philippines. It's not a thing and we just kind of, I well, I just kind of started celebrating it because my husband's family celebrates it. So we make chicken and a lot of different sides so that was our that was our day we actually grilled well by we i mean my husband and my father-in-law but they grilled we ate it was nice had a um, apple pie with with vanilla ice cream which was amazing and yeah that was our day and then my black friday happened my sale and thank you guys so so much for all the support and for everyone buying from my shop i really really appreciate every single one of you i'm amazed with the people that just keeps coming back and just keeps repurchasing from my shop even though i don't make budget kits anymore a lot of you guys have been purchasing budget kits which i really really appreciate because it makes me want to make more budget kits and i am honestly like i don't know i still do cash envelope stuffing but i miss filming it like miss doing on camera or stuff like that so i don't know maybe in the future there will be a budgeting video for me again like i don't know when that'll be but for right now it really is just the time because i was saying maybe i can just do cash stuffing videos but even then i don't have my moped i can't get the the money by myself and budget it you know it's just a hassle i know a lot of like budget budgeter budget making channels know what i'm talking about like the struggle of prepping for your video and it's kind of hard when you can't go to the bank and kind of do it when you need to because you're kind of trying to be on the same schedule for your viewers so i don't know just a little tangent over there but i do miss it i feel like i'm going through withdrawal but i still do cash stuffing on my own but just not filming it so yeah it's been it's been um something but i do have more time and you know when my baby doesn't sleep that's fine because i'm not on a schedule i'm not on a tight tight schedule like i have to have stuff done so my schedule is a little bit more free and i can spend more time with her embrace her and live in the moment with my baby because she might be our last oh and this is the cutest thing my my in-laws got her this christmas book this just says Amelia twas the night before Christmas so I call my baby Mia but her name is Amelia I just really wanted the nickname Mia so that's why I picked Amelia and there's nothing really behind it but I, Mia is actually I don't know it kind of stuck with me originally that was my favorite youtuber Mia Stammer she was my favorite she was like the very first youtuber that kind of sparked some passion in me when it comes to making videos and that was back in 2011 and i was back in the philippines and i i had no means to buy a camera or even a good phone I don't, we have like crappy phones over there um couldn't afford it so i knew i wanted to make videos but i just couldn't i didn't have the means till i got here in 2014 i bought my very first iphone it was like an iphone 4 i think and I started making videos with that and you know I didn't grow as fast as she did but I love what I'm doing and I just have a lot of passion for it I have a lot of passion for a lot of things and I wish I didn't need sleep like I always tell myself that I wish I didn't need sleep then I would be um, like great because I can do my stuff at night but you know I need sleep <laughs> but anyways I was saying as I was saying <laughs> thank you guys so so much for all the support for continuously buying from my shop and just 
I'm amazed. So I'm going to be packaging those up next week because I have three days off. And I'm actually going to throw in, like I said, the little freebie, like the stamp freebie and another die cut freebie for you guys, for anyone who ordered from my shop. For both of my shops, it'll be the same freebies. After next week, I won't have a lot of time. I don't know how frequent my videos are going to be because if you guys didn't know, I work at CVS and we're doing that two weeks where we open from 7 to 12 at night. So we're going to have to do those shifts. We're going to have... I have shifts where I close till 12 and then I have to open at 7. So I, I, I don't know <laughs> what's going to be my life then. <laughs> We'll see, but we'll make it work and you know, it'll just be two weeks so probably won't have a lot and I think I'm actually gonna stop trying for two videos a week because they tend to be shorter. Like right now I'm editing my other studio vlog, this one that you're watching and right now before I film this, it's at 11 minutes. It says 12 there but actually it's the 10 minutes. The video ends at 12 minutes. I know I'm gonna film this part and include it in here because it's just too short and my baby is sleeping there and i also you know you guys didn't see this but i asked my husband to move my shelves there just to kind of put my inventory there and i'm thinking of taking those two away and you no know, it's looking still messy over here um nothing has changed still the same yep and then we're gonna put our tree there hopefully i can vlog that soon but my husband has been working six days and I think this week is his last six days of work and then he's gonna go back to regular 40 hours because he's been doing 60 hours or 50 and that's a lot. I think I will end the vlog here. I don't know. Oh no. Yes, I will end the vlog. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye! Thank you guys so so much again.